Hey there, I'm Calvin Keeney, and these are some wall drills that you can do at home to get ready for your next pickleball tournament. Enjoy! First, I'm going to start out with some dinks. And I just want to point out real quick that when we're hitting against the wall, we're not really worried about where the ball is going so much. We're worried about and trying to think about what it feels like to hit it. We're trying to get this muscle memory down and just getting some reps here. So when you're dinking, the ball should come back very softly off the wall, just like this. It should be bouncing in front of you. I'm about seven feet, so about at the kitchen line, maybe a little further. But again, I'm not too much worried about where I am. I am thinking about my, my feet being parallel to the wall right now, as if I'm dinking to the person in front of me. If I want to dink with the person that's cross court, I will just turn my body and still have my feet kind of in the same position the whole time, but I'm just hitting a, a different angle practicing this cross court dink. And you can do the same thing for the other side. This would be practicing cross court. I'm just turned and I'm using the ball, the wall as a ball boy. So not really worried about if this ball is going in or not. I'm just trying to get rep after rep after rep. And I've noticed when I do this, I'm able to, in the game, be able to hit more effectively and, and make those minor adjustments to get me to hit uh, the ball in. <laughs> so those are dinks. We did face on dinks with the person in front of us. And then we did cross court dinks with our body sideways, both ways. You can also do volleys. So an easy way that I've heard to do volleys is to hit the ball high on the wall. This is a bit easier. If I want to make it a little bit harder, I just get lower to the wall and try to get right above that line. Now this line is a tennis net height, so it's a bit higher than a pickleball net, but not too much. And again, I'm not too worried about exactly how high it is. I'm just trying to hone my skills, get my muscle memory down. And for these volleys, I am aiming right above that line just for something to aim at. So this is a really good drill to get your hand speed quicker. I want to point out when you're doing this one, if you constantly find yourself over hitting, you're going to find that the ball is back to you before you're ready. So tighten up those swings, get shorter with the, the follow through so that you're able to get back to ready quicker back to ready to hit okay here we go again very short swings i'm just kind of poking or punching the ball forward at this line trying to hit this brick on the wall the same brick every time i'm not able to do it but at least i have a target and again short strokes here if i get long strokes all of a sudden my body's not ready for the next one my paddles over here when the ball is at my body or the paddles over here so very short strokes are important on these uh, volley drills and then I also like to put these together I like to go with some dinks and then practice those sneaky attacks from my opponent by hitting it quickly from here and then trying to volley it or reset the ball whatever you want to do if I want to hit an attack and then reset it'll look like this it's a very quick attack followed by a reset this is a very practical drill, particularly for higher level play, where you get some sneaky attacks at around whenever you're dinking. If you've seen people hit an attack shot from their knee or their, their shin, some players are really good at doing that and disguising it. And so this defensive neutralizing reset shot is very good at defending that or countering that shot. So again, it's attack, reset, attack, reset, attack, reset. That's all there is to that one. Next up, we have drop shots. I'm just gonna take a few steps back. I'm pretending to hit very far through this wall. I'm just using the wall as a backboard to just keep feeding me the ball. And I'm just practicing getting this muscle memory. I might be aiming for the same spot on the wall I want to be getting some lift on the ball, hitting upwards. One of the most common mistakes that I see when I'm teaching people how to drop shot or helping them improve their drop shot is this. They hit very flat 
very straight. We want to avoid this. This is, that technique is good for a drive when you're wanting to hit hard and towards the person or in between them. But a drive is very different than a drop shot. So for a drop shot, we want lift. Think of it like a beanbag toss. You're just trying to lift this ball, get some height on it. And again, I'm not pretending that the kitchen is right past the wall. I'm pretending the kitchen is way past the wall. And I'm just getting used to getting this height on the ball versus hitting it very straight, which a lot of people tend to do. We want to avoid hitting it very straight on this drop shot. So this would be too straight. Not much room for error when you're hitting this straight. And when you get a difficult ball, it's going to be you end up hitting them into the net or hitting them a bit too high and your opponents smack them back. So that's why we're wanting to lift the ball, get some lift, get some arc on the ball and so that the ball's coming down as it as it goes over the net. That's ideal. It's high on our side, maybe eight feet high, however high, but as it's going over the net, it's coming down. Now you can't see that because the wall's in the way, but that's what we would want in a real a real life pickleball shot. Next up, we have drives. So now we're hitting a drive. The purpose of this shot is to apply pressure to our opponent. So this one is going to be straight and flat. We're wanting to get a very high consistency and accurate shot with very little effort. So very short swing, high consistency. Right now I'm gonna aim for this brick somewhere right above this line. I may or may not hit it, but I at least have a target. Very, very short swing. Very short swing here. Oh, that was a little high. And these are tough, but this drill right here is how I got ready for my 5-0 singles tournament. And I probably would have gotten smoked if I didn't do this for several hours a week leading up to it because I hadn't ever really hit a drive very consistently before. As you can see, I'm still not the best at it, but I'm better than I was. These drills will get you tired real quick, so it's a great cardio exercise as well. Just a couple more here. I'm aiming right above the line at one of the concrete blocks. If I don't hit it, that's okay. Very short swing, so I'm back to ready quick. If you have a long swing, you're not gonna be ready for that ball. Long swing, you're not gonna be ready for the ball. Practicing that short swing, because just like in a game, when we're hitting that ball fast to our opponent, the ball's gonna come back quick as well. So we have to be ready. If we over swing, we're gonna be here, and our opponents are gonna be hitting it back at us. If we do a nice short, quick swing, we'll be ready to get back to our ready position to hit the next ball. So that's what we want. Very quick. Well, I almost wasn't ready for that one. Very quick, very short swing. And you can practice backhand too. So that's a good wall drill for, for uh, driving and hitting drop shots. Same thing for your serve. I'm gonna get however many feet back. I'm not worried too much about where I am. I'm just using the wall as a ball boy. So I'm just going through my same pre-serve routine. For me, I like to get my feet ready, get the ball out, ready position here, drop, hit. Feet are ready, hands out, paddles back, drop, hit. Whatever your pre-shot pre routine is, try to do it the same every time so you develop some muscle memory and you have full control over the serve. So take advantage of that here. Ready? Sir, ready, sir. And again, I'm just using this ball, this wall as a ball boy. I can turn and hit that way. Uh, you can turn your body to hit different ways, but ideally you're set up so that wherever you hit it, the ball is coming back to you. And I can turn my feet the other way, hit that way. Whatever you want to do, I'm just practicing my pre-shot routine getting this serve to feel more and more natural, more and more comfortable. Getting 100 serves in two or three minutes, whereas you would get 12 serves in a game, or how, however many it is. Now let's put it all together. Let's go ahead and practice a serve, 
and then I'm going to hit a drop shot and move on into the to the kitchen essentially and then at some point hit a sneak attack and then volley and reset so this is what that will look like sir ready drop shot I'm gonna hit some more drop shots here and sneak attack reset sneak attack reset oh missed it let's restart sir return getting ready for this sneak attack here and I'm just gonna volley whatever I want to work on I'm working on and again drop shot moving on in now I'm at the imaginary kitchen here hitting some dinks and sneak attack reset sneak attack reset sneak attack reset oh I missed it let's do one more ready drive drop shot drive oh reset drive re reset oh I didn't get the reset last one And there you have it. These are some great wall drills that I've done to get ready for my tournaments. These are some great wall drills that I did when I didn't have a drilling partner and I was just wanting to get better. So wherever you are in your pickleball journey, these are great if you're wanting to just get more reps and get your, your muscle memory down. So thank you for watching. I'm Calvin Keeney and have a good day.